In this Kajabi review, I want to share with you exactly what Kajabi is. So if you're someone thinking about getting started by the end of this video, you'll know if it's right for you. And just before we get into it, if you do decide to get started with Kajabi, I've also negotiated two offers that you can't really find anywhere else. The first one is getting three months on the growth plan, which is $199 per month. Usually you can get three months for just $99. Or if you prefer another plan, I've also got a 30 day free trial on any of those. So if you wanna grab one of those two offers, make sure you join using the links in the description. Okay, so first of all, what is Kajabi? Well, it is a content creators platform, which is perfect if you're looking to create your own online course, your own membership, your own community, or even host your own podcast. You can do everything inside of one place with Kajabi. Now, what I really like about this platform is the simplicity of it. They've made it so anyone can kind of get in and get started without too much confusion, unlike a lot of other platforms out there. And this brings some things that I do like as well as some things that I don't like. So inside of this video, I'll cover all of these things. So what I'm gonna do right now is jump behind the screen and show you Kajabi. So here is the Kajabi website. And if you wanna know what it does, you can actually just see right here under the products tab. So you can host courses, podcasts, memberships, communities, newsletters, create landing pages, you can build funnels and you can take payments, everything like that. So it does do a lot of things. Once again, I mentioned I love the simplicity of this platform. If we quickly go into the pricing and you actually look at the pricing, You'll notice it is a little bit more expensive than a lot of other software out there. The reason being is they've tried to make it as simple and as powerful as possible. So of course, with the saving of time, there is going to be a little bit more pricing. I'll also leave a link down below to a Kajabi alternative if this is too expensive. Plenty of different options out there. But inside of the Kickstarter, which is $89 a month, you can have up to 250 contacts with one product and community. For the basic 10,000 contacts with three products, the growth 25,000 contacts, 15 products, and finally the pro 100,000 contacts, 100 products, and three websites. So once again, it is a little bit more expensive, but it does have that sort of premium feel to it. The simplicity once again is the main selling point. I've also got the special offer once again down below if you wanna check it out. Three months of the $199 plan for just 99. You can also downgrade and cancel within that time if it's not right for you as well. So this is the Kajabi dashboard. And honestly, in terms of dashboards compared to other platforms out there, they've done a really good job in terms of laying things out, the navigation actually going through it, and also reporting in terms of analytics, statistics, and even their lightweight CRM. Now to get started, if you do join Kajabi, they have got a simple onboarding process. They have two different phases inside of it. The first one's going to get information about your business, your branding, and integrate your payment gateways. The second phase is all about creating digital products so you can get things done as fast as possible. Now, when you come down, we have all of the different product types on the left, and I'll just quickly blast through all of these so you can have a quick view of what they look like. We have the online course builder. Now, Kajabi's probably most known for hosting online courses. They've done a really good job as well of how it actually looks and feels for the students. I'm a massive fan of it. So this is probably one of the big selling points. We also have here coaching programs, so you can create your own coaching. You can sell it in packs or individuals. You can charge for it um, in all sorts as well. So coaching and courses, once again, big ones. We also have their online community feature. I've been a part of a Kajabi co uh, community, sorry, that had around 50,000 members. Kajabi handled it no problem. So this is really cool. You can have offers inside. You can also have live calls inside of here too. There's also the podcast feature. So if you want to host your own podcast, you can quickly create them inside of here. You can also distribute them in uh, uh, sorry, Spotify and Apple podcast. So it's all very cool once again. We've also got different things like creating your own uh, coupons and having your own affiliates. You can also create landing pages and websites and i'll quickly just pull those up all right so let's just say you had a product you want to sell let's say it's a coaching program you can quickly come to landing pages and funnels click new funnel and we've got all of these pre-built types of funnels that you can use right you've got wait list freebies sales pages product launches ebooks coaching campaigns um, and a single page sales funnel so there's plenty to choose from inside of here 
I have got one little issue that I believe with Kajabi, which is lacking a little bit, and that's actually the builder itself. They've made it obviously simple, so people can't necessarily do anything wrong. But for someone that likes their pages a particular way, it is a little bit limiting when it comes to actually building out a landing page. And I kind of understand why some people like to use third party software to integrate for the front end sales and then they just host the products on the back end. It kind of makes sense, but the good thing is if you're new to digital marketing, then you, I then the page builder is perfect because it's really simple and you can just build things on the fly. So that's probably one of my biggest gripes with Kajabi. Now we've also got email campaigns inside of here. You've also got the contacts and lightweight CRM. We've also got this creator studio, which is a pretty cool feature which allows you to repurpose any video into clips, transcripts, emails, blogs, social posts, and more with just a few clicks. So it's a pretty cool thing they've built inside of it. I'm not sure how many people use it, but it's nice having it there as well. And there's also different templates and things we can use. And that is basically Kajabi in a nutshell. So if we quickly recapped what we talked about, first of all, the pros of Kajabi very simple to use the onboarding is amazing so you can't get lost it has beautiful looking templates for things like their courses their communities and it can also handle a lot of volume in terms of people actually joining the amount of contacts you have the size of your community and more now let's quickly go over the negatives which aren't necessarily negatives to some people first of all it is quite an expensive platform once again they are a premium platform so they have a premium price They've made everything as simple as possible, integrated AI, so it can be built as quick as possible. But once again, there are many other platforms out there, maybe a little bit harder to use, but then once again, that's the trade-off. And the second thing is the features have been once again made simple, but if you're someone that has specific look and feels in mind, then you may find Kajabi limiting. Myself, when I created a funnel, I was a little bit frustrated because I like things a certain way. But once again, I've been doing this for many years, so this doesn't necessarily mean it's going to affect you. So overall, that is my Kajabi review. If you want to test drive it yourself, I've also got that extended 30 day free trial down in the description, as well as the three months for $99. So go have a play, see what it's all about. But that's it guys, that's my Kajabi review. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.